Hubble has been in space for over 34 years, and its mission has been an incredible success. Although it wasn't originally designed to observe objects within our solar system, it has managed to do so throughout its journey, capturing extraordinary moments that would have otherwise gone unnoticed. Not every planet has a dedicated mission, and there's much more to see in our solar system beyond just the planets. Let's embark on a journey through our cosmic neighborhood, venturing from Earth to the farthest reaches of the solar system, exploring remarkable objects you might never have heard of as revealed by Hubble's keen eye. We'll begin our grand tour close to home with our immediate neighbor, the Moon. Due to the Moon's large apparent size in our sky, Hubble cannot capture its entire surface in a single image. Moreover, other missions such as NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter provide far better images of the Moon. Thus, Hubble's time is better utilized elsewhere. However, in 2012, Hubble captured an intriguing image during a special event. Venus passing in front of the Sun. Why observe the Moon during this event? Scientists used it as a massive mirror to detect subtle variations caused by sunlight scattering through Venus's atmosphere. These variations revealed details about the atmosphere's chemical composition. Although Venus's atmosphere composition is already well known, this experiment tested whether the light scattering method produces accurate results. Hubble frequently applies this technique to study exoplanet atmospheres by observing distant stars as planets transit in front of them. Since the Sun is too bright for Hubble to observe directly, using the Moon as a reflector enabled scientists to obtain the data they needed. While capturing the entirety of the Moon poses challenges for Hubble, the same is not true for Mars. Hubble often observes Mars, offering a full view of the planet's surface, something orbiting spacecraft can't always achieve. These images provide valuable insights into dust storms, seasonal changes, and other weather phenomena. Such information is crucial for planning rover operations and building a comprehensive understanding of Martian weather for future predictions. In one time lapse, a global dust storm envelopes the planet obscuring surface features. Mars's two small moons, Phobos and Deimos, can be seen zipping around the planet in the background. Their rapid motion is especially noticeable in the 42-minute sequence. Another time-lapse focuses on Phobos, the larger and closer of Mars's moons, showing its movement over just 22 minutes. Phobos completes an orbit around Mars in only 7.5 hours making it the only moon in the solar system to orbit faster than its planet's day. As we leave the inner planets behind and approach the first of the gas giants, we encounter the asteroid belt, a fascinating region filled with objects worth studying. Among them is the curious asteroid 6478 Galt, a misleadingly named celestial body that has captured Hubble's attention. You might be surprised to learn that this object, which clearly resembles a comet with its twin tails, is actually an asteroid. Known as Galt, this asteroid resides in the asteroid belt and was imaged in 2019. So, why does it have a tail? Scientists believe the answer lies in a phenomenon called the YRP effect. Solar radiation exerts a small but steady force on irregularly shaped bodies, and under the right conditions, this can gradually increase their rotation speed. In Galt's case, its 3.5 km wide body has been spinning faster over time and now completes one rotation every two hours, the upper limit of what an asteroid can endure. This rapid rotation generates centrifugal forces that are stronger than the asteroid's gravity, causing loose material to be ejected into space. These ejections form the tails, and over time, Galt will likely disintegrate entirely. Like many other asteroids and comets, Galt isn't a solid rock but a fragile rubble pile held together by weak gravitational forces. The asteroid belt, with its chaotic population of 1 to 2 million asteroids larger than a kilometer and countless smaller ones, is a dynamic region. To illustrate this, let's examine P-2010A2. At first glance, it appears to be a typical comet. However, a closer look at its nucleus reveals an unusual filamentary structure. Surprisingly, this is not the comet's nucleus. It isn't even a comet. What we're seeing is an extraordinarily rare event, a collision between two asteroids. The X-shaped structure near the nucleus consists of debris from the impact, 
with rubble being ejected in four directions. Some of this material is pulled back toward the center of mass by the faint gravitational pull, while particles in the tail have escaped entirely. Despite the occasional chaos, most asteroids in the belt follow relatively stable circular orbits around the Sun. But if an asteroid strays too far from this path, as comets do, it risks encountering a far more powerful gravitational force, Jupiter. Often called the solar system's vacuum cleaner, Jupiter is a dominant force in this region. Its immense mass accounts for nearly three-fourths of all the matter in the solar system outside the Sun, giving it a gravitational influence that shapes the fate of nearby objects. A striking example of this occurred in 1994 when the 2km wide comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 ventured too close to Jupiter. The planet's gravity not only captured the comet but also tore it apart, breaking it into several fragments. By the time the fragments impacted Jupiter, they were already scattered, marking the first ever direct observation of an extraterrestrial collision. The impacts from Shoemaker-Levy 9 were catastrophic, creating enormous scars in Jupiter's atmosphere that were visible even from Earth. These scars, some larger than Earth itself, persisted for months. Hubble played a crucial role in capturing this unprecedented event, offering detailed images of the impacts and their aftermath. The collision served as a stark reminder of the dynamic and sometimes violent nature of our solar system. Jupiter is not just a gravitational giant, but also a visual marvel. Hubble has captured stunning images of its swirling atmosphere, including the famous Great Red Spot, a storm larger than Earth that has raged for centuries. Beyond the Red Spot, Jupiter's atmosphere is a dynamic tapestry of storms, jet streams, and turbulent patterns, each more captivating than the last. But Jupiter isn't just a planet of storms. It also boasts a fascinating collection of moons. Among them, Europa stands out. Hubble has provided tantalizing evidence that Europa's icy surface conceals a subsurface ocean potentially harboring conditions suitable for life. Observations of water vapor plumes erupting from Europa's surface suggest that its hidden ocean may occasionally interact with the surface, offering a glimpse into its mysterious depths. Moving farther out, we encounter Saturn, the jewel of the solar system. Saturn's iconic rings are its most striking feature and Hubble has captured their beauty in exquisite detail. These rings are composed primarily of ice particles ranging in size from tiny grains to massive chunks. Hubble has provided insights into the dynamic nature of Saturn's rings, revealing how they are shaped by interactions with the planet's moons. For example, the tiny moon Daphnis creates ripples in the outer edges of the rings as it orbits within a gap known as the Keeler Gap. Saturn is also home to a diverse family of moons each with its unique characteristics. Titan, the largest of these moons, has been a particular focus of interest. With its thick nitrogen-rich atmosphere and surface lakes of liquid methane and ethane, Titan is a world that defies expectations. While missions like Cassini have provided in-depth studies of Titan, Hubble has contributed valuable observations, such as monitoring changes in its atmosphere and surface features. Beyond Saturn lies the ice giants Uranus and Neptune, which are challenging targets for observation. Hubble's powerful instruments, however, have managed to capture images of their hazy atmospheres and faint ring systems. Uranus, with its unusual axial tilt, appears to roll on its side as it orbits the Sun, creating extreme seasonal variations. Hubble has observed massive storms on Uranus offering a glimpse into the dynamic weather patterns on this distant planet. Neptune, the outermost planet in the solar system, boasts the fastest winds recorded on any planet. Hubble has captured images of its deep blue atmosphere, including the Great Dark Spot, a massive storm similar to Jupiter's red spot. As we venture even farther, we reach the realm of the dwarf planets and the Kuiper Belt. Here, Hubble has observed Pluto and its largest moon, Charon providing early insights before the New Horizons mission's historic flyby. Hubble's observations revealed surface variations and changes in Pluto's thin atmosphere, laying the groundwork for further exploration. Beyond Pluto lies a vast region of icy bodies, remnants from the solar system's formation. Among these is Arakoth, 
a contact binary object that Hubble discovered and New Horizons later visited. The object, resembling a flattened snowman, provides clues about how planetary building blocks formed in the early solar system. Hubble's journey through the solar system is a testament to its versatility and enduring legacy. From our moon to the farthest reaches of the Kuiper Belt, Hubble has captured a treasure trove of images and data, expanding our understanding of the dynamic and diverse objects that share our cosmic neighborhood. As new missions like the James Webb Space Telescope take flight, Hubble's legacy will continue to inspire, reminding us of the boundless wonders that await discovery in our ever-changing universe. Welcome to our channel, Digital Discoveries.